Coverage you can count on. Our top story tonight, chilling new details on the murder of an eight-year-old North Kingstown girl who police say was strangled to death by her own mother. It's a story we've been following closely since news of the arrest first broke yesterday afternoon. The body of eight-year-old Camden Fry was found by her father in their Ritchie Lane home on Tuesday morning. Now her mother, 36-year-old Kimberly Fry, is charged with murder. And today, Eyewitness News obtained court documents that shed new light on this disturbing and tragic death. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly uncovered the shocking new details. He joins us now live from North Kingstown for the South County Mobile Newsroom. North Kingstown is, a, is an affluent seaside community where violent crime is rare, but this court document obtained by Eyewitness News reveals that a mother admits to strangling her own daughter. The police were back talking to residents on Ritchie Lane in North Kingstown the day after news broke of what one neighbor called an unimaginably tragic situation. 36-year-old Kimberly Fry, seen here at a North Kingstown school committee hearing in May, posted on the school department's website, is accused of strangling her own daughter, her only child, 8-year-old Camden Fry. Her father, Timothy Fry, discovered her unresponsive in her bed Tuesday morning. Now, a court document paints an ugly picture of the events surrounding the child's death. Timothy Fry told the police that his wife called him at a hockey game Monday night to say that their daughter fell in the shower and that she had to drag her back to her room. While on scene, investigators noticed Camden Fry had significant bruising on her upper chest not consistent with death by natural causes. Autopsy results released today reveal that the child died of cardiorespiratory arrest due to asphyxia due to manual strangulation. Investigators also learned that around 6 p.m. on Tuesday, Kimberly Fry was transported to South County Hospital, where she made statements against her interest regarding killing her daughter. Specifically, a hospital worker, Courtney Breyer, told the police that Kimberly Fry told her, I should be protecting my daughter, and I could not protect her from me. Courtney Breyer also told the police that she saw Kimberly Fry write a note to her husband saying, please don't hate me. Another hospital worker, Sharon DeLuca, told the police that Kimberly Fry told her, I want to die. I strangled my daughter. The court document also reveals what Kimberly Fry says motivated the murder. It's appalling, and it's new at 6. Live in North Kingstown with the South County Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.